This morning, rescue missions resume in southeast Louisiana to reach people cut off by floodwaters. They remain stranded in their homes. Now, just look at this video from Laplace, which is about 30 miles to the west of New Orleans. Major roads are underwater, making it hard to reach some areas so far. There have been two deaths confirmed, but unfortunately, officials fear that number could become much higher. And along with the flooding, more than a million people remain in the dark, including all of New Orleans and surrounding areas. It could be a while before power is restored. Michael George joins us live from Bridge City, Louisiana, near New Orleans this morning. Michael, we see that massive transmission tower on the ground just directly behind you right there. So it looks like it's going to take some time to get the power restored. Yeah, it could be weeks, Hayden and Amanda, and that's uh, so frustrating for people who have already dealt with so much during this storm. So the transmission tower behind me torn down by Ida. There's situations like this up and down the state. So there's so many gaps in the power grid. And right now, utility workers are beginning the work of assessing just how bad the damage is. So first, they need to find out what needs to be fixed before they can start fixing anything. So it's going to be a very long time before power is fully restored to this state. Uh, they're telling people to prepare for the possibility for weeks. That could be up to 20 days. All right, and Michael, another mission is finding and rescuing people that are still stuck there in flooded areas because there are people still stuck. So how are crews reaching them and what challenges are they facing today? Yeah, the Coast Guard is constantly doing search and rescue missions by boat, by helicopter. Uh, one of the big challenges during the storm is that 911 service was down. So a lot of people who were trapped by floodwaters and in dangerous situations couldn't even reach out to help, uh, couldn't even reach out for help. So that's the reason why these missions are continuing just on the chance that there are still people who are out there and need assistance and just can't reach out for for help because we really don't know the true toll of this storm just yet. We do know there are two confirmed deaths, but officials have said they do believe that number will rise. And Michael, we can see in your live shot right there, it's beginning to rain again in South Louisiana. That cannot help rescue efforts, I'm sure, especially when folks are still trying to get the power back on as quickly as possible. Yeah, and it is also going to be hot and humid today. It was yesterday, too. So think about a million plus people who survived the storm and now they're going to deal with no air conditioning, 90 degree temperatures, high humidity and additional rain and flooding. It is just problem after problem after problem. It's a very difficult time for the people here in Louisiana. Mm. Can only imagine. Michael, thank you so much. Live in Louisiana for us this morning. Thank you again for joining Wake Up Central.